Watler comes up. Runners sent on their way. And a couple of runners slow to go when the starter said go. Esweetie was one of those that's a little bit slow out of the gates. Queen Eliza was strong on the way to the start and is also eager in the race. Wimmer wears on the outside and Alarm with the yellow blinkers between the two. Jamboree and then comes Storm Coast in the pink. They're followed by White Luck. Lily's Rush is further back and then comes Diversify. Jamboree's in the orange near the rail. City of Athens on the outside. It wasn't me and his sweetie the last two. They're about 10 lengths off the leader. Queen Eliza is the leader. Alarm is back second. On the outside, Women Wear Storm Coast. And at the rail, they're followed by on the inside, Diversify. That gives them about five, six lengths start. De Roche is just in front of that. And then comes What Luck and City of Athens with Jamboree. And then we drop back to It Was and Me and His Sweetie. Queen Eliza passed the 1,000-metre marker. Alarm moves up within a half length. Wimmer wears back in third. De Roche is out the rail fourth. Then Storm Coast, What Luck, Lily's Rush. Then Diversify. City of Athens has eight lengths to make up. And then Jamboree. It wasn't me and his sweeties about ten lengths off the leader. Coming to the 500-metre marker and Queen Eliza leads it. Alarm with the blue cap back sick. And then De Roche and Wimmer wear. Further back is What Luck on the outside, Storm Coast, Lily's Rush, City of Athens, then Jamboree, these top four have got away now, and Alarm hits the front, Queen Eliza down the inside, then Wimmer Ware. further back in the running there is Darash, City of Athens tries to run on, but Alarm has got a good lead coming to the 200 metre marker, and they won't get to Alarm, and it's Alarm, back to back victories, win it by five lengths, City of Athens is running on nicely, but it goes to Alarm. Alarm. City of Athens will run second. Third place will go to Lily's Rush and further back Queen Eliza. Victory for number five, Alarm. Daughter of Asiatic boy, Smanga Kamalo, back-to-back victories. This one for Mike Takak, and they win easing up. Went to the start, and Dees will ask Smanga had to give a couple of reminders just to get her mind on the job, but she came out very alert, and she wins it by four or five lengths. Of course, Waisha Mowing, who used to ride Asiatic boy, he rated that, and Horse Chestnut as the two best ever horses he had ridden. City of Athens comes from a long way back to running to second. Lily's Rush third. Queen Eliza went to the start fighting and in the race. And then further back, Wimmer Wear Diversify and It Wasn't Me. They were followed by Sweetie and Darash as we take a look at the head-on. And Alarm quick to strike at the top of the stretch. The blue silks of Queen Eliza, Wimmer Wear, Darash and City of Athens is making late headway. Was never going to be a danger to the winner but gets up for that second position. Number five, Alarm ended up the tote favourite at 3.50 when the jumped and wins it well. So that is the running of race number five until the running of the sixth race. Back to the studio. Well, well done to trainer Mike de Kock, who I'm sure is uh, at the CTS sale down at uh, the Cape Town ICC Centre. And uh, well done to you, Mike. Number five, Alarm, the Argentinian uh, import, has really trotted up here. She took a bit of time to win a maiden, John, but obviously she, she, she looks like a filly that needed uh, racing and experience. Yeah, oh, geez, I think she also needed the ground, and she definitely proved the blinkish one. Another good race today. All into everyone concerned, all into Mike and the yard. Just having a look at the men in which she, she, she won today, she looked like she was in a different division. She's shown his nice work at home. She's quite a light little fit, and I think she's just maturing as she gets older. Well done to the yard. Anything else later on? No, we're going home. We're going home. Give our best to Natty. All the best. Thanks, Dees. Well done to John. Well done to the Decock team here in uh, KZN. And uh, is Samanga coming back? Well, we'll wait for him for a second while we touch on this result in race number five. Yep, Samanga doesn't let us down. 
He's our boy, number five. Alarm has come through to win it. And of course, Samanga did partner this horse last time out. And last time out, Samanga, I mean, she just got the job done, but a different filly today. Yes, you know what, uh, she, she won with quite a bear in hand. Uh, if you ever looked at last little, but I just uh, took a hold of her just to get her, but she was doing it quite comfortable. It's just there was a, a fast finishing uh, horse on my outside and it looked like uh, she had enough. But uh, well, today she came out and uh, the other horse was uh, going quite a nice clip. And I thought, let me rather let her follow a horse through and uh, don't let her bend out. And uh, from then I think it worked out and uh, we came to her straight at the 600 already when I just uh, pressed her. And I thought uh, she changed legs and she, she just took off. I just kept her balance all the way through it. You know, we we're getting so used to that uh, posture of yours when you're so confident in the irons. When, when you turn into the straight, you, you crouch down and you just let her use a stride. And, and that was it. You could see a long way out that this is going to win and win by a street. Yes, as I said, uh, the 600, when she actually changed legs, I knew that uh, she's on her right leg and she's going to keep on going. And uh, I just kept her balance all the way through it. Uh, uh, she, she did it easy, quite, quite easily today. I think she enjoys the poly. And all thanks uh, to John. You know, he never put pressure on me. He just said, you know, the feeling from last time and uh, go out there and do what you can do. Uh, she likes to rest up handy and uh, going out there, knowing that uh, I'm going to try and do my best uh, to my best of my ability. It always helps. And uh, yeah, well done to uh, the owner also and uh, to the Mike DeCock uh, racing team. Now, while I got you on air, 2014 is done and dusted. We've got January, February, March, April, May, June, July. We've got seven months. Well, we can take out January. Let's say we've got six months left for the season. And just having a look at the jockey's log, it looks quite cramped uh, at the top. You, the reigning champ, are you going to be making your move now? Are you going for the championship again? You know, I'm trying all the way. Uh, if I get the support from the trainers and owners, I'm surely it can be done. And uh, I'm traveling and uh, I'm, giving, uh, I'm giving it a go. And, uh, you know, uh, as I always say, uh, we, 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 the, we, try, we try, but we just need the, the right uh, horses and, uh, to get us through. Um, I haven't done Kimberley, but once I start doing Kimberley, I'm sure I'm going to uh, try and get a lot more winners. Are you happy where you are at this stage of the game on the log? Yes, uh, you know what, yesterday uh, I had a chat with Pierre and he was a little bit uh, uh, stressed. He said, uh, why don't I come and take a lead? Because he just has to keep on uh, uh, riding winners uh, to stay up there, you know. So I'm just going to wait a bit and uh, once I start doing Kimberley, it's going to be surely uh, uh, going for it. Maybe he's saying, I'm giving you a gap, Samanga, take it. Yeah, hopefully, <laughs> but uh, you know what, we're, we're trying. Is that he... He's a, he's a top competitor and uh, he's, he's done this uh, plenty of times and uh, um, it's always uh, it's, it's very nice to be uh, just behind him and uh, uh, chasing along, you know. And also, I'd like to thank my sponsors before I forget, uh, Maurice Fontaine and Vakhoba Strift, well done to them too. Thanks for the time, Samanga. All the best for the rest of it. Thank you. Lovely. Pleasure chatting to Samanga as always. And uh, this horse ended up the Saftoad favorite in an open race. Of course, uh, there was confidence on the Saftoad betting board for number five alarm and after this performance she's won to pencil in five one six and two your provisional result race number five